So what I want to get into is, first of all, we have some big, big, big updates for the Bitcoin spot ETF. I also want to get into in the short term, maybe short to medium term, how we actually have a nice bullish breakout. Yes, we're also going to be getting into Solana and Avalanche. And then we're also going to be talking about some short term technicals. Catch the wave, according to Michael Saylor. And you know who's someone that is currently catching the sizable up wave in Bitcoin is this player. Some random person out there accumulated 1 billion. I'm not saying million, I'm saying billion. $1 billion worth of Bitcoin in the past month. That is ridiculous. If I had to guess, this is some large, large player with many billions in assets under management. I, if I had to guess, it's probably a big player who is prepping for their spot Bitcoin ETF. Inherently, you have to own a bunch to be able to pull it off. But that is a lot and lot, a lot of purchasing. SEC will approve multiple Bitcoin ETFs at once, according to Van Eck CEO. So that's exciting, but it gets even more exciting. Just in, Kathy Wood's ARC just had its spot Bitcoin ETF listed on the DTCC, the Depository Trust Clearing Corp. That's the thing in the middle of all brokerages where they do the net buying and net selling using the ticker ARKB. So that's one of the companies, and there's about a dozen who's interested in trying to pull this off. But more important than that is what just found out about BlackRock. BlackRock revises spot Bitcoin ETF proposal ahead of rumored SEC approvals. BlackRock's ETF proposal now includes cash redemptions, a concession to the SEC that may improve the fund's approval odds. So what does that mean? Eric, we actually interviewed him previously on the channel. He's a great guy. He's an expert on ETFs. Here's what you need to know. So there was an updated S1 amendment and that was from BlackRock. Eric quote tweeted it saying, BlackRock has gone cash only. That's basically a wrap. Debate over, in kind, we'll have to wait. It's all about getting ducks in a row before the holidays, good sign. So I was a little bit confused on exactly what he did or didn't mean and why this would be bullish for Bitcoin, especially bullish for the opportunity of a spot Bitcoin ETF. And then he further explained it. Uh, someone asked, I'm assuming that this means they take in cash and do a Bitcoin swap to gain exposure. Is this your view? Yes. Take in cash, then Bitcoin to create new shares and vice versa. Basically can't hand in Bitcoin in exchange for ETF shares like in most ETFs. So once again, this all seems to be increasing the odds of a spot Bitcoin ETF in the near term. And as soon as one of these companies figures out the secret code to kind of crack why the SEC is saying no and no and no. Obviously, it'll all be public. And then all these other companies, about a dozen who are interested in having a spot Bitcoin ETF, will most likely rapidly follow. But once again, updates from ARK, from BlackRock, really the whole spot Bitcoin ETF narrative as a whole, it's looking good. And obviously, if you want to know more about it, check out what Eric has been saying. Obviously, he is an expert on the matter. Another reason people have been very excited. So it's not just the spot Bitcoin ETF. It's some commentary from the CEO of Grayscale. He was doing his media rounds yesterday and he was kind of pointing out how as soon as this is approved, it means that it's opening up about 30 trillion. I'm not saying million. I'm not saying billion this time. I'm saying trillion opening up $30 trillion of potential investment, which obviously represents a lot, a lot, a lot of demand. This year. Sure, this year. sure. Well, you know, Joe, I'm not one to make price predictions, but I do think there is a lot of optimism again in the market. I think a lot of investors are adding Bitcoin to their portfolios. And when we look ahead to the hopeful approval for spot Bitcoin ETFs, it really is going to unlock the opportunity to a part of the investment community that for better or worse, but I would say for worse, has unfortunately been locked out of the opportunity to participate in having Bitcoin exposure in their portfolios. So we're really talking about the advised market here in the US, which is today about $30 trillion worth of advised wealth um, that we hope the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs, the uplisting of GBTC will allow for that opportunity and for those investors to partake in it as well. There's a limited amount of supply of Bitcoin. 21 million at max theoretical in existence is going to be less than that. Supply, constant. As demand goes up, as there's more access for people who don't want to really figure out their own wallets or create a whole new account, if they really just want to tell their advisor to get it for them, uh, upon spot Bitcoin ETF approval, that opens the door there. So we don't know exactly the level. Yes, there's interesting predictions of how much will actually flow in. But the point is, is the supply is steady, demand increases, which means price has to follow. Obviously, in terms of prediction in the short term, medium term, long term, all a bit difficult because you don't exactly know how much demand is going to be there. 
I wholeheartedly think we're easily gonna at some point in the future be above six figures for Bitcoin itself. And the reasoning is pretty much this. As demand goes up, price is gonna go up. That will most likely be spurred by spot Bitcoin ETF approval. From there, I think there's gonna be FOMO of people seeing it go up. They wanna chase in. And I think that could actually squeeze out the shorts. And then also I think more and more people are learning about monetary policy. And as the Fed fund rate comes down, which the prediction is for that to be cut in 2024, well, as that doesn't have such a nice interest bearing nature to it, I think money's going to flow into things that are perceived to have a higher yield, such as gold and also digital gold, aka Bitcoin. Speaking of which, in the short term, looks like we have a nice technical breakout. This is the daily chart of Bitcoin. And I just want to let you know at the point that we're talking about it, obviously trading at 42.5 thousand, which means that it has a market cap of 831, 32 billion dollars. But from a technical perspective, over the past eight to nine weeks, Bitcoin has been ripping, 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 higher highs, higher lows, and then recently a bit of a consolidation, lower highs, higher lows. I've been tracking this trend line and as of Tuesday, December 19th, we got a push and close above and we're currently trading above it. So for the active traders out there, just want to let you know, I'm not really the biggest crypto active trader myself. I have it. I like to invest in it once in a while. I'm trying to do some DGEN stuff, but I just find it's easier to just hodl and hodl and hodl. But basically, I'm looking for this trend line breakout to hold. And obviously, this whole structure would be invalidated if Bitcoin on the daily chart gets below and closes below 40,000. So looks like from a technical perspective, a nice pennant breakout. And obviously the measured move could potentially be all the way up to 45,000. I have resistance at 48. And then obviously 50K is a key technical and psychological level. With all that being said, Bitcoin isn't the only one that's having a nice push right now. For example, this is on Coindesk. Solana and Avalanche meme coin fever continues as Bitcoin nears 43,000. Traders have increasingly favored these networks over Ethereum for their lower transaction fees and faster speed. So that's just the news on it. But interestingly, from just a charting perspective, look how strong Solana has been from October until now. It is up a blistering 269%. And then if you look at Avalanche, also, let's just run it from that same time period. It is currently up 332%. So yes, I am a huge, huge fan of Bitcoin, but I also want to make it clear in terms of trading, investing. Recently, there's been a lot of big moves, making a lot of people a lot of money. So no shade to them whatsoever. That's why I want to cover it. But Solana ripping. And then obviously from there, you're going to have some of their meme ones, such as Bonk. You have Cardano recently ripping. Its meme is Snack. Uh, you have Avalanche ripping. You have Ethereum ripping. You have Bitcoin ripping. It feels as if that FOMO and excitement is coming back into the world of crypto. And in my humble opinion, not only from a technical perspective, but I think things are going to continue to get crazy on the announcement of the spot Bitcoin ETF being approved and really just the what I'm perceiving to be kind of cultural, social turmoil of 2024. I think people are going to try to identify what's thought to be a safe haven. And I think this time around, Bitcoin will be viewed as a safe haven asset. Obviously, those are my own thoughts and opinions. I implore you to do your own research, but I, for one, am very, very excited.